Hello and welcome to this section. So we are going to move to a new visualization now. We are going to move to a pivot table. If you have used pivot tables before in Google Sheets or in Excel, you will be familiar with the rows and the columns approach that we are going to be using. If not, of course I will show you how that works. So let's get started. But before start, first let's delete those two tables. We are not gonna need them anymore. Select those tables and then press delete. Ok, perfect. Then we will insert our pivot table. To insert pivot table, let's click on this add a chart option. And then let's find our pivot table. I'm gonna scroll down. And let's choose our pivot table. I'm gonna place it here. And perfect. As you can see, we already have some data here. But now we will be changing that. First, let's take a look at this setup section here. As you can see, things are different here. What we've got is a row dimension, column dimension and also this metric box. So we're going to just delete those and change it a little bit. In this column dimension, instead of promotion name, let's first delete that. And instead of that, let's provide region for example. I'm gonna place it here. And now if we check our columns, we will be able to see each of these regions. North America, Europe and Asia. Ok, that's great. Let me first resize this pivot table. Ok, that's much better. And now let's change this metric box. Instead of this record count, I'm gonna use for example profit. So let's use profit here. And perfect, now we are able to see total profit for each of these regions. For this row dimension we can also change that, instead of channel we could provide some other value, but let's leave that for now. Next I would like to click on this style section. And if we check this style option, we will be able to see that it is the same that we had for our tables. So let's see those options. For example, we have also that table header, we have font option, font size. Also we can change those table colors. Now let's notice one thing. We have this option highlight color. We didn't have that option for our tables. So if we change this for example, let's put for example this orange one. And if I go over my table, I will be able to see that I highlighted my table with that orange color. Let me change that color one more time. Let's put for example this blue. And now you will be able to see this table highlighted in blue. Ok, perfect. Now let's move on to table labels. It is the same option that we had for our table. We can change font size, also basically font family and so on. We can also show missing data. We have a lot of options here. We had also the same for table. Also we can change those metrics. Instead of number we can see heat map for example. Let's click on that. We could also see compact numbers. But for now let's turn off that. Also we have those options for background and border. But for now we will leave this as it is. So basically very similar to what we had with the table formatting. Now let's go back to our setup. Let's scroll up. And what you will see within this row dimension is that we have this ability to expand. So basically what this means. For now, as you can see, this option is turned off. Let's try to use that option. For example, here in row dimension, we have this channel field. Also, I would like to add another field. This time, let's use, for example, city. And now if I take a look at my table, I will be able to see that I have channel and also each of these cities related to that channel. So we have for example Seattle and we have this amount of profit and it's located in North America. But basically let's see what will happen if we click on this expand collapse option. Let's check that and now we will be able to see only those channel values. But as you can see now we have this plus sign here. Now let's see what it means. If I click on this view tab here. If I click on this, I will be able to expand my table. Basically, I will be able to see each of these cities belonging to that channel. If I scroll down, I will be able to see different channels. As you can see now we are able to see phone and so on. If I click on this minus sign here, I will be able to see only those channels. So this option is very useful. Let's click on edit. And now I would like to show you one more thing. Let's add one table. Let's click on this add a chart option, let's find table, place it here and now instead of this channel dimension I'm gonna provide, let me choose country, let's put country here in this dimension box and now we will be able to see total profit for each of these countries. But now what I want to do, basically I would like to filter this table 
by using this pivot table. So how can I do that? If I click on this in-store channel, I will be able to see profit related only to this in-store channel. If I click on phone, I will be able to see profit related to phone and so on. So this way we can filter our tables using pivot tables. Now with this we are going to conclude this lesson here. I will see you in the next one.